My name is Hank Bart. I'm a professor of ecology and evolutionary biology at Tulane University. I am curator of fishes of the Royal D. Sutkus Fish Collection. The Royal D. Sutkus Fish Collection has over seven million specimens. Uh, they are preserved in alcohol. We have a total of over 200,000 bottles of, of alcohol containing these specimens. It was amassed from mainly from rivers uh, in the Gulf South region and Louisiana and other neighboring states, uh, but we have material from all over the world. And the specimens are like books in a library. Researchers can access information about the collection online. They can uh, contact us and ask us to borrow certain bottles of specimens. We package them up and send them as a loan to those researchers and they study them. They use them to study uh, relationships of fishes. They use them to describe new species of fish. They use them to study other aspects of the biology of, of fish species. So as I said, the specimens are like books in a library. And just like in a library, I can reach back and grab a, grab a jar like a book and can read information about the specimens right on the label inside of the bottle. Uh, one of the things that we did early on is we digitized the entire collection. All this label data, data that we kept in a separate catalog describing every jar in the collection. We digitized that, put it in a database, and made that database accessible online. We digitized the description of the place where the specimen was collected. And because now we had this text description of the collection location in a database, we were able to use that, uh, to develop technology that, that translates that string of text into latitude and longitude. The software is called Geolocate. It was developed here at Tulane. It's now the leading software for georeferencing uh, specimen data in the world. It's used in fish collections throughout the world. It's actually used in collections of any kind of organism throughout the world. So another thing that we're trying to do with uh, specimens in the collection right now is actually make a digital analog of the specimen so that researchers who can't travel to our location or just want to make some quick determination about a specimen, they can access an, an analog of the specimen online. To do that, we're putting the specimens uh, in front of a camera. It's a computer-controlled camera, so the computer actually changes the position of the camera. The, the camera takes up to 200 or more pictures of the fish. And these are high resolution images that can be uh, used to, to build a 3D reconstruction of the specimen. Uh, that 3D reconstruction, uh, once accessible to researchers online, will allow the researchers to manipulate the specimen, to see fine details about the scalation of the specimen, the fin ray counts, and study the specimen as they would if they were right here in the museum. Mm -hmm.